my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day on WW to Lose Weight. I cannot wait to share all of my meals throughout the entire day with you. You are going to see my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, my snacks, and wait until you get a load of the recipe that I'm sharing with you for dinner. It was so freaking good. I cannot wait to share it with you. So if you want to see what I eat in a day to lose weight on the WW Freestyle program, all you have to do is keep watching. Seriously, you guys, best day ever. So this is the hoodie from my Teespring merch in pink on the front. It says Jen's WW Tribe. I love these white little drawstrings. Then let's flip this over and look at the back, you guys. Right across the back, it says official member. Look at how incredibly cute. So love the hoodie. And then I also got, this is the adorable girl's tee. It's got these cute little cap sleeves, pink Jen's WW Tribe. It's long, which I'm great, which is awesome because I'm tall. But check this out. Nobody needs to be wearing a crop top. So it's got a good length to it. And look at the back, you guys. Vegas 2019. So if you have not hopped on to my Teespring store and grabbed yourself some merch, I will put it here on the screen. You guys have to check it out. This stuff is seriously so cute and the quality is phenomenal. So here is my breakfast for this morning. You guys, I cannot wait to have my breakfast. So what I have here is three of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausages. They are one smart point a piece. I went ahead and lightly scrambled up two eggs and then I have one of my western bagel cinnamon spice bagels that I just went ahead and sprayed with some spray butter. This is the bagel that I'm using. This is the cinnamon spice from western bagel. These bagels are only 120 calories and only three smart points. As you know, I'm obsessed with Western Bagel. I'm a huge bagel eater, and typical bagels are anywhere from 8 to 10 smart points. But you can have a Western Bagel, and I love this cinnamon spice flavor, for only 3 points. They also sell baguettes, which are smaller size bagels for 1 point, And they even have a Perfect 10 healthy grain for 2 points. So you can essentially have a full size bagel from anywhere from two to three smart points. You can't go wrong. So if you're interested in Western Bagel, I do have a 10% discount code. I'll put that here on the screen and it is linked down in the description box below. They have some great deals right now where you can build your own box. You can use my 10% discount and get free shipping. So if you have not jumped on the Western Bagel bandwagon, it is time to do so because they are delicious. And then I'm having some honeydew melon mixed with some watermelon. And in here, I just have some water with some fresh lime. So this entire breakfast is only five smart points or six smart points. I'm sorry, three for the bagel, three for the sausage for a total of six smart points. What are you doing? <laughs> Dora? You little squirt, you were just kicking and having a good time in here all by yourself. Yeah, you shake mama. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. It is morning snack time and I, of course, am having the brand new flavor of the Built Bar. This is the Mocha Chocolate Cream. This bar just released yesterday and it is only out for 10 days. So between May 21st and May 31st, you can order the Mocha Chocolate Cream either by the full box 
or you can order a mix box, a full box of a different flavor, or even a build your own box, and you will get two free mocha chocolate cream bars. Plus, if you order two full boxes, you will also receive six of the cinnamon chocolate cream for free. You guys, this promotion is amazing, and it is only for 10 days, May 21st through May 31st. These bars are three points. They taste like a candy bar. They have 15 grams of protein, six grams of fiber, and only four grams of sugar, and it is real chocolate. None of that waxy chocolate coating. Use my discount code here on the screen. Save yourself 10% off in addition to the two free mocha chocolate cream bars and the cinnamon bars. Now this, you guys, literally tastes like a mocha. It is coffee, it is chocolate, and it is delicious. So don't miss out on the current Built Bar promotion. And this, my friends, is my three smart point morning snack. A little more happy mail. So these I bought off of Ulta. Now, if you're interested in these products, Ulta is the best price. So this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Face Cream. And I also bought the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. So I actually got the eye cream in a sample when I bought some perfume and things from Macy's. This eye cream, you guys, best there is. And the price, completely reasonable. I want to say the eye cream is $38.00. And this is a good sized container of eye cream, half of an ounce, and really you don't use very much at a time. And then the confidence in a face cream. Also, I wanna say $48, I believe, for the face cream, and this is two ounces. So if you're looking for a really good, reasonable priced cream for your face, eye and cream it cosmetics and then also for free they sent me the cc cream now i've never used this but this is a um basically a concealer for your eyes i have heard phenomenal things about this eye cream our eye concealer i have just never used it so i am excited to try it along with my eye and face cream so today is a all about me beauty kind of day. So here's my lunch for today. I'm going to have the rest of my meal prep from last week, which is my chicken apple sausage, potatoes, and peppers. This is only five smart points, and this, you guys, was so good. If you have not made my meal prep last Monday, this is what was in there, and it is delicious. I'm also going to have it with just a little bit of corn with some spray butter, salt, and pepper for zero. I am working on a Propel for zero, and then I'm going to have one of my two Smart Point chocolate chip cupcakes for only two points. I These are so good, you guys. These were in my meal prep that was posted on Monday of this week, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. These cupcakes are delicious. So two Smart Points for the cupcake, five Smart Points for the sausage and potatoes, zero for the corn, zero for the Propel. So this is going to be my seven smart point lunch. Someone's not really interested in getting up today. Are you cozy, babe? You're wrapped in a blankie, piled in pillows. This is Lola's favorite place to be. And the other someone has made their way out to their dog bed so that he can keep an eye on all of the action or lack of action that is happening. We live in the country, so there's not a lot going on, but he can see the road from right there, so he literally spends his day out there watching the road and watching for animals. All right, you guys, here is my afternoon snack. Oh my God, best thing ever. Look at how thick this is. It is the consistency of a milkshake. So let me show you what I put into my afternoon snack. This is literally the best protein shake that I've ever had. So here is what I used in my protein shake that literally tastes like a milkshake. I used one frozen banana, so that is my second fruit of the day. I used one package or one scoop of the Devotion Nutrition Brownie Batter Protein Powder, 20 grams of protein, 20 grams, you guys, bloat-free, six enzyme formula, gluten-free, two grams of MCT, two points. Two points for this package of 20 grams of protein. This is seriously the best protein powder I've ever had in my life. You saw me use the angel food cake in my muffins in meal prep. I cannot even believe, where has this been all my life? Hands down, positively, the best protein powder. No aftertaste, creamy, delicious. 
obsessed. So I do have a 10% off discount code for devotion. I'm actually about to hop online right now and order a tub of both the brownie batter and the angel food cake, but go ahead and use my discount code, save yourself 10%. It is here on the screen and the link is down in the description box. Click the link, enter the code, save 10%. Definitely get yourself some devotion protein powder. Oh my gosh, so good. I also added one cup of Almond Breeze Creamy Almond Cashew Milk. That's one point. The protein powder is two. And then I added two tablespoons of PB2 for two points. So, or I'm sorry, for one point. One, two, three, four. A four Smart Point Milkshake. Literally, you guys, this is a milkshake. It is so incredibly good. Okay, you guys, some amazing Happy Mail is here. I just ordered these from Teamy. I did not receive these from them. I bought these with my own money because as you know, I've been using actually the Teamy Repair Oil for a long time. I am obsessed with their oils. So I went ahead and bought their combo pack. I want to say before any discounts, it was $89. I'm not sure. Um, I will put it here on the screen for you guys but I have a discount code that you can get 20% off of a $34 or more purchase. So I'm gonna put my discount code here on the screen as well and everything is down in the description box. But what I bought was of course I bought the repair. I love the Teamy Repair Oil. This one I use all the time. So these are tea infused oils. This one is chamomile and flour. I like this one when I wash my face at night before I put on my moisturizer. So typically I will take a shower first. My face will then dry. I will add a little bit of the Teamy Repair. I'll watch TV, relax, and then I will add my moisturizer for the night. So I love the Teamy Repair. This is the one that I've actually been using for a really, really long time. I have heard amazing things about the Teamy Glow. So this is rose and cinnamon. So the Teamy Glow is actually an oil that is best used either in the morning or at night. So what I'm planning to do is put this on my face in the morning before I put on my makeup. So Teamy Glow and then your primer and things such as that and your makeup. So super excited. This smells so good. And then lastly, I also bought the Teamy soothe with lavender and sage. So this is one that you can put on at night before you go to bed, or if you're having some skin issues, this is a fantastic oil for that dry skin breakout. It soothes your skin and makes your skin feel so good with that lavender. Oh, it's so awesome. So that is the Teamy Soothe. So so excited about my Teamy oils order. If you are interested in Teamy, again, you can use my discount code here on the screen. You can also click down in the description box below. They have some great deals going on right now, but I highly recommend their oil line. Seriously, you guys, fantastic skincare and extremely reasonable. For tonight's dinner, I am making chicken cordon bleu roll-ups. I'm going to pair this with a veggie. So this sounds absolutely delicious. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some Italian breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, rosemary, oregano, an egg, Parmesan cheese, ham, two chicken breasts, and either ultra thin cheese or this Jarlsberg light, which both of those options are one smart point in a slice. So this is what is in tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we need to do is take our chicken breasts, slice them in half to make them thin, and then we're going to place them between some parchment paper and roll them out until they are a quarter inch thick. So we want to really pound and roll. So we're going to get them sliced and rolled out to a quarter inch thick. Once you get your chicken rolled out nice and thin, we are going to add one slice of our Jarlsberg light cheese and two ounces that I went ahead and weighed out here on my food scale of ham. So we're just going to put this onto the piece of our chicken and we're gonna do that on both 
breasts of chicken. And then we're going to also go ahead and add our two ounces of ham. So go ahead and just roll that up and just put it nicely onto your chicken. And you can do it as even as you want. I'm just going to make sure that I have an even two ounces for the points. And then we're going to roll our chicken up and seal it closed with a toothpick. So to roll our chicken, you're going to start at one end and you're just going to roll it up and then we're going to punch it closed with a toothpick. So it's going to be tough but just get it rolled as best as you can because we are going to go ahead and seal it closed with our toothpick so that will definitely help keep our chicken closed and look at that you guys yum look at that cheesy ham that looks so good so we're going to go ahead and roll up our other three chicken breasts get them ready to drudge in some egg and get them into some breadcrumbs Next, we went ahead and put one egg into a bowl, and then into this bowl, we are going to put one quarter cup of our Italian breadcrumbs, and these are just the breadcrumbs that I used. We're also going to do one quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, you can use what I call the shaky cheese or the powdery Parmesan cheese if that's what you want to do, but I have the fresh stuff on hand, and I just think that that's going to make maybe make it a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and use a quarter cup of regular cheese. And then we're going to add in some spices. So first we're going to do a little bit of black pepper. And then we're going to do a little bit of salt. And we're going to do some oregano. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and do some rosemary. I love this rosemary grinder that I got at Walmart. It's awesome. So it has whole rosemary, and then it just grinds it fresh for you, which is pretty darn cool. So there is that. We'll give that a good stir, and then we're ready to pull our chicken breast through both of our mixes. Next, you're going to get a baking sheet and a wire rack. You want to put your chicken on the wire rack because it allows both sides to crisp up. You could also cook this recipe in the air fryer, which would be really good, but I'm going to go ahead and do it in the oven just because not everybody has an air fryer. I'm going to go ahead and spray my wire rack with some nonstick cooking spray because I don't want my chicken to stick. And then we're ready to take each of our chicken roll-ups. We're going to go ahead and put it into the egg mixture. And then we're gonna go ahead and coat it into our breadcrumb and cheese mixture. And then we are going to just put it onto our wire rack and it's ready to go into the oven. And by the way, I do have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and do all four of our roll-ups and it is two roll-ups per serving. So that is a lot of chicken roll-up. And these look amazing with that cheese, ham, a breadcrumb coating, yum. So we're gonna get these all put on our baking sheet and ready to go into the oven. And here are chicken cordon blue roll-ups ready to go into the oven. So we're gonna put these in at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they are completely cooked through. I will be back to show you our dinner. We're gonna pair this with some veggies. I just pulled our roll-ups out of the oven. Yum, look at these. They are crispy and delicious. You have cheese oozing out. I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes. In my microwave, I have a bag of broccoli. I'll go ahead and plate it up, show you our dinner, and give you the smart points. So here is our completed dinner. So I have a serving of steamed broccoli that I just sprayed with some spray butter, salt, and pepper for zero. And then here are my roll-ups. Look at how delicious that looks cheesy crispy yum you can have two of these chicken roll-ups for only five smart points so that makes this entire dinner two chicken roll-ups and a big plate of broccoli for five smart points so my husband thinks i'm losing my mind that i have my pineapple upside down so i'd like to know down in the comments who's heard of this who has heard that you put your pineapple upside down because all of the sweetness is up here where it is attached to the tree so if you put it upside down the sweetness kind of filters throughout the pineapple so am i legit crazy or has someone else heard of this 
For dessert tonight, I decided to go ahead and make a parfait. Look at how delicious this looks. So what I have is I used one of the vanilla Too Good yogurts. I really like these. No added sugar and only three carbs. The two grams of sugar come naturally from the milk. I really like it. It's thick. It has great flavor. I went ahead and used a cinnamon smart cake. If you are interested in getting the smart cakes or the smart buns, you can use my code here on the screen. It will save you 10%. And a lot of times they also have free shipping. So go to smartbakingco.com, use my code, get yourself some smart cakes. They are a game changer. They are an entire little cake for one smart point. Gluten-free, zero carbs, and delicious. I went ahead and added a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip and some sugar-free Hershey's. And this is what I wound up with, this delicious cinnamon chocolate vanilla parfait for only three points. I hope you enjoyed another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my food that I ate today. It was a very good on track, on point day in that dinner. That dinner, you guys, was so good. It is definitely, definitely a must try recipe. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the good stuff that I got in the mail, a little bit of dogs, and then a little day in the life, of course, which I love to feature in my What I Eat Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, hi, make sure you subscribe. I do a What I Eat in a Day every single Wednesday. Hit that little notification bell, that way you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this What I Eat in a Day. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.